Hello guys, in this video, let's see how to flash stock ROM once again on the Xiaomi Redmi Note. If your device is break or the device is not booting or if you want to come back to MIUI from another ROM. So let's get started. For this, you will need to switch off your device. After your device is switched off, simply take out the battery. Now simply connect your USB cable to your PC. I would suggest you to use the original Xiaomi's USB cable that came in the box or else use an authentic one and the device doesn't show up on the computer even after using this then don't forget to switch the computer ports over here uh, try a different port or try a different USB cable that might help you so let's connect it after you connect your device to your PC you will get something as MT65XX preloader now select update driver software and then select browse my computer for driver software now hit the browse option and select the folder where you have put the vcom drivers after they are unzipped before making this video i tried this method that's why the drivers are showing as installed but you have to follow these steps in order to go further now select the folder where you have put the vcom drivers and now simply hit ok for me it's saying the best driver software for your device is already installed but for you it should be like the driver is successfully installed the most important part of flashing stock ROM on the Redmi Note is that you get the drivers installed. I personally had to try it 5 to 10 times before I got this installed. So you may have to try it multiple times to get the MT65 preloader in your device manager over here. If the drivers are not installed correctly then do not go further, try again and again. You may have to try different USB ports or different USB cables too. Now you have to download SP flash tools and the image file for the Redmi Note. Now simply extract both the files. Till the extraction is done, as we have successfully installed the drivers, now remove the USB cable from the phone as of now until and unless we get to the SP flash tools. So now the extraction has been completed. Now simply go into SP flash tools folder and select flash tool this option that this is the application over here. Right click on it and select run as administrator. It will say something as the scatter file cannot be found. Please make sure this file exists before download. Now select OK and now you will see something as scatter loading file over here. Select scatter loading and now go to the folder where you have extracted the image files. This is the folder for me. Select that. Go again once again and select this MT6592 Android scatter. Select that and hit open. Now you will get many options and now if your device is in boot loop then you have to select these options or you may try deselecting the user data option which will not wipe all your data and you can select that if your device is in boot loop or you can select user data if you want fresh out of the box like MIUI. Uh, for me let's select that and now hit the download button over here and now simply connect your USB cable to your phone. You may not connect the battery and try. If nothing happens, then put the battery inside once again and then once again try. Uh, but I tried without battery and that worked for me. So it, it will work for me once again. Now simply connect the USB cable once again. Now as you can see over here, it's flashing. So till the flashing is getting completed, let me explain these options to you. As you can see over here, this is the recovery option over here. If you have installed any custom recovery and want to get back to the stock recovery, then deselect all the options and select only recovery and it will flash recovery for you. If you are on MIUI version only but you want to flash everything like stock once again and don't want to wipe the user data then deselect the user data option and flash this. And if you are in boot loop then I would suggest you to select all the option and then flash. And double check that you are selecting the image file of the Redmi Note only and nothing else. If you flash any other device, preloader or anything else, then your device will be heartbreak. So you have to take care about that. Now after you see something as download OK, hit this button over here. And now uh, disconnect the phone from your USB cable. And you can now insert the battery over here. And now you can switch on the device. So let's wait till the device boots up. Now after booting, I noted that even if I go into explorer app, all the phone storage, that's the internal storage is wiped. So if you select user data, the internal storage will be wiped and if you don't select user data, then internal storage won't be wiped and the content of the internal storage will remain intact. So don't forget to take care about that. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video if I help you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. I have already made many more videos on the Redmi Note and you may like to check them into description below. So don't forget to check them out. 
and uh, how about sharing your experience of getting into bootloop and don't forget to leave your experience of getting into bootloop in the description below too that would be nice so thank you guys thank you for watching